It's a phrase that defined a premiership. We'll be implementing the Fitzgerald recommendations lock, stock and barrel. Mike Ahern led Queensland through one of its most tumultuous periods, governing during the explosive Fitzgerald inquiry into official corruption, after wresting the leadership from Joe Bjorki Peterson. The wheels are back under the green and gold bus. Born into a dairy farming family in the Sunshine Coast hinterland, Michael John Ahern followed his father's interest in country party politics. He entered Parliament in 1968. At 25, he was the youngest MP elected to the House. But his youth, moderate views and tertiary education saw him spend more than a decade on the backbench. Finally elevated to the ministry, he held a number of portfolios, most notably health and environment. By 1987, Joe Bjorki Peterson's leadership was starting to falter. His Joe for PM campaign had tanked, and the Fitzgerald inquiry inflicted mortal wounds. Under pressure to resign, Sir Joe named a date. Well, I've decided to retire on the 8th of the 8th, 88. But the party room wouldn't wait. Sir Joe tried to sack dissenters, among them Mike Ahern. His younger colleague got in first. I have this morning had a conference with the Premier and have asked him to stand down from his position. Mike Ahern challenged for the leadership and won, but the governor wouldn't appoint him. It was an extraordinary standoff. After proclaiming himself leader this morning, Mike Ahern was forced to face the cameras again this evening to admit <coughs> he'd not been able to throw out Sir Joe. After days of political freefall, Mike Ahern prevailed. The new government in Queensland uh, will be an innovative government. It will be a government which puts people first. He inherited World Expo 88, the festival that launched Brisbane on the world stage. But his government barely got off the ground. He struggled to bring the old guard with him and widening the Fitzgerald inquiry's terms of reference to include politicians didn't help. I hesitated not for a moment, knowing the cost which might be involved in that for me and for my government. Just 22 months into the job, it's lost. Mike Ahern was toppled by Russell Cooper. It is an, a time uh, which has been the highlight of my life. Two months later, the Nationals suffered a crushing election defeat, breaking 32 years of Conservative rule and ushering in a new era. Mike Ahern quit politics in 1990. I would. Uh, do it all again. I've got no regrets at all. I'm very proud of the achievements which I've had and uh, I just advise any others, any kids that are looking at serving, that it's a, there's no tougher job than I, than I know. Mike Ahern became a successful businessman and was awarded an Order of Australia for his services to everything from politics and trade relations to education and charities. Largely overlooked in political history, Mike Ahern will be remembered as a man who steered Queensland through a time of crisis.